Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to go over a couple little things. I'm an information kind of guy, so um, I recently purchased a Jeep Wrangler 2021 four-door. Um, I went from a Ram 2500, uh, big diesel truck. Um, Love the truck, you know, was a, an amazing vehicle. Uh, I just no longer had, you know, a real use for it anymore. So I wound up trading it in, um, got a pretty good deal on the trade, and wound up purchasing a, the you know 2021 Jeep Rubicon, um, and I'm honestly, I'm super happy. Uh, one of the things that I did was, because you know I've never been a Jeep person, never owned a Jeep, I never had any intentions of owning a Jeep, um, but you know, once I kind of was like looking at them and thinking about, hey, you know, maybe a Jeep would actually be a pretty good vehicle to have take me out to go do things that I like to do anyways um, so when I purchased it one of the big things I was looking to do was eventually put a rooftop tent um, on it so that you know I can go out and go camping take the wife and kid um, and go you know do the stuff that I enjoy and so I did some you know more so I guess you could say probably pretty quick research uh, stumbled across the Rhino Rack Pioneer system um, or Pioneer platform not system um, and purchased it installed it um, which uh, I could have had the you know I guess where I purchased it from install it but they were gonna charge like $145 an hour and said it would take all day so you know to me after already spending around you know 2500 bucks on the rack it just didn't make any sense to pay even more money for them to install it so i installed it myself uh, if you're not familiar with the rhino rack um, pioneer platform um, this one i believe is the 72 by 59 um, rack and it has the backbone system which uh, is what gives it all of its support which you can see it just goes around the windows on you know both sides there and um, that's what you know pretty much is what's going to support everything that you put on it uh, has 900 pounds of static weight um, capability and then I think it's 290 pounds for dynamic which you know for most of the stuff that you would put on it um, you know you you're, you're pretty good so once I put this rack on my my dad actually had a brand new CVT um, Mount Rainier tent still in a box wanted to know if I wanted it I told him yes but I was unsure if I could actually get it to mount um, and I contacted CVT and they you know they they tried to give as much information as they possibly could um, you know but they were not really familiar with you know it being mounted so I just wanted to be able to kind of provide this information to anyone who may be in the same boat that I am or was not anymore because I got it to work so one of the big things was the space between the um, the aluminum channels on the rack and then obviously the aluminum channel that would go the two um, bars that go underneath on the tent itself was CVT said well maybe you know basically maybe the space between the two is is the exact same space between the aluminum channel on the rack and it would sit down inside of it but you'd probably have to wind up cutting it um, or cutting the bars on the tent so that it would fit down inside and then use the you know obviously the the clamps that come with the tent and mount it to the cross beams on the rhino rack so we wound up actually doing just that but one of the things that you have to do if you and, I, and, I, and it may be any type of tent I'm not hundred percent sure but at least with this one um, you can see those little clamps in there around those cross beams but um, you have to loosen the beams the aluminum channels that are mounted to the tent like loosen the three bolts on each one so that it gives it some play and when you and cut those cross beams down to 66 and a half inches that way they sit in the spaces on the rack itself um, and when you loosen those bolts it allows the 
the aluminum channel on the tent to kind of you know work its way into the space and then on the little lips that are on the aluminum um, slats for this rack so just to kind of give you a better visual I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about but this right there would be the aluminum channel mounted on the bottom of the tent and it's sitting in that space right on the lip of the rack and so um, that's kind of what got it to sit more flush and flat with a very small gap obviously not anything crazy a small little little finger thickness So, if you find yourself in that position where you're looking for the ability to mount it and you can't find any solid information, which I couldn't, couldn't find it on any forums or anything, uh, just know that a large, at least CVT um, tent will fit on the Rhino rack. It will mount to it just right um, if you do it, you know, the way that I kind of explained it. Um, it does take a little finagling you know kind of shaking it a little bit to kind of work its way down but once it's on there it's on there and it looks good so um, hopefully this information was helpful uh, if you have any other questions you know just leave a little comment um, I'd be more than happy to answer it and uh, if you want to follow me along on this journey uh, please like follow and subscribe